An investigating officer giving testimony of his investigation in the murder of Amos and Zenzele Koka, Daniel Malan, Cornelius Grayling, Otard Klimberg, Michael Sternberg and Zenzele Yende are applying for bail at the Petritif Magistrate Court in Mkondo in Bumalanga. They're facing two counts of murder, attempted murder, kidnapping and defeating the ends of justice. The defence introduced video footage of what happened at Gate A or the first incident at Papunkrau outside Mkondo. The media and public were not allowed to watch the video evidence. According to defence lawyers, it emerged in the video that four men carrying sticks and to the barn, then farm workers and the men left the premises using gate B, where there's no video camera. The five have pleaded not guilty. The bail hearing continues. Well, for more on this story, we cross to our reporter, Dumelo Mashoho. Thanks very much, Dumelo, for joining us. Are we getting any indication of uh, the, more, the detail that came out of that video? Well, we are getting details of what uh, emerged on that video. It's uh, the, uh, the video, the uh, defend, uh, de defense rather, they're saying that uh, allegedly four men entered the, the barn, the premises of this farm uh, using gate A, where the camera can be can be seen. These men carrying sticks, they go inside the, the farm and immediately farm workers were uh, 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 left with them, but they left to a direction of gate B. So they exited the premises using gate B, where there's no cameras and uh, uh, where there's no cameras. But immediately after that, uh, 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 who is accused number two, arrived at the farm with Amos, with Amos, uh, uh, with Amos one of the deceased, uh, in the buggy. They arrived with some of the men also arrived at the, at the farm. Uh, uh, but shortly also after that, in this video that we've been told, also his brother and three other men arrived. But then he, he uh, Zenzele and Amos, apparently they had a scuffle there and then, but uh, Amos did try to remove Zenzele from the premises, but Zenzele then moved to the right direction of Gate B, drive towards the direction of Gate B, where there is no camera. So uh, the state, does, the, the defense rather, they're saying that they want to apply to the magistrate. Just before I left court, they were just applying to the magistrate if they can have a full access to, to, to the dockets, because they are saying that uh, there are conflicting information, especially from the witnesses that the investigating officer has uh, interviewed throughout the, the investigation. They're saying that that's why they want the full access to, to the docket so that they can actually study the docket more because then uh, it's not saving their clients correctly because they're saying that their clients will not get a fair trial and a fair bail hearing if they're not given that fair, uh, um, a full access to the, to the, to, 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 to the, um, to the dockets because they're saying that those four men, they came there uh, uh, with the, those who are carrying sticks, they came there actually angry and they removed people. So they're saying that they were intimidating people. They're not there to seek work as we have been reporting that apparently they were there to seek work but they're saying that those men they were not there to seek work they were there to fight that's why they've got um uh, this video was shown to to today they're saying that that's why that the, the information that has been given to the police is not correct they're also saying that in the video it doesn't show any of the farmers are holding any rifles because we, we, we've been told also that they were apparently hold, they had rifles with them but they're saying that they did not have any rifles with them at that stage especially in the video. There are not rifles being seen in the video. They're saying that um, the farmers were calm throughout the, the, the incident when they actually the incident happened but also we remember here Nompu this is just the first part of the uh, the incident that has happened. The shooting incident happened at gate B where there is no cameras. So we don't know after these men, after Zenzele and the four other men and also after the farm workers and also the other men, the four men who arrived with sticks to, to, to the barn, uh, they all left towards the direction of gate B. So we don't know after that what really happened. So that's why they're saying that they want a full uh, 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 docket from the police so that they actually they can study it more so they can actually, when they apply for bail they can use some of the information inside that uh, docket that have the state has not given all of them to to to, to the defense Nampu? Uh, and uh, Dumela, just in terms of the atmosphere I know that in uh, last week when you were reporting of course there were protesters out people very angry and so on has that died out or are people still coming out to observe what's going on 
Well, I'm just going to ask Lungi and my colleague just to zoom actually to what uh, the direction on this street. There are still people coming in to actually to support this family, to support the, 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 the two deceased. Uh, uh, but today, the, the, uh, there are not a lot of people as we have been seeing, like hundreds of people coming here, but there's still a lot of people coming in. But streets are barricaded in and around this uh, courthouse because uh, the police are anticipating that, uh, as we've seen last week, people were trying to remove the barricades uh, 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 to actually to get closer to the court and also looting some of the stores that are around the, the, the vicinity of the court. So this uh, this uh, this morning, since this morning, the court, they have actually barricaded some of the roads and also um, uh, close some of the streets in and around this area so that they can just uh, ensure that uh, uh, no incident of looting, no incident of uh, uh, people trying to get closer to the court is actually happening. A number of streets are being closed off, but uh, we know that there's a lot of police contingency here. There's a lot of police in and around this uh, area. Uh, 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 actually in and around the the, the Petritif itself is a very small town but the, if two streets are already closed and for this matter four streets are closed and uh, um, so it's already making a life difficult for a lot of people especially that who are using the main road which is just behind us going towards uh, KwaZulu Natal so the police are trying to keep an eye on the public to ensure that there's no incident of looting there's no incident of people trying to get closer to the court but there are still people coming in to show support for the Gorka family. Excellent. Thank you very much, Dumelo, for that report.